find a spot on the beam and sign your name. You do want to sign on this side of the beam because that's the spot, that's the part that will be facing out into the aviation area. So, so with that, Mr. Wilson, you continue to push uh, into the future of this project, and I know countless others in this region, and we just can't thank you enough. I know some members of our stakeholder task force are here. We appreciate you being here. It's a lot of our businesses, our educational and community leaders and collaborative partnership. And your still collective knowledge has been tremendous for us. And, um, you know, I think Mark just was talking about somebody coming over today who wants to use the building already. So that's exciting news um, for people. And then finally, just a reminder, uh, this is truly the work of our community. And thank them so much. Anytime you see our community, thank them, thank them. We really listened to them. We worked with them. We believed with them. And really, this is a dream uh, for all of us uh, that's coming true of having this modernized new way of learning for our students. And with the support of, of the vision by our community, the passage of a great 2016 election, and now coming to fruition, this Cherry Creek Innovation Campus really will benefit our students and our future workforce here in Colorado for the 21st century and centuries to come. There's so many a few folks here and just want to thank you from the board and the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, thank you. I uh, think about this place every day uh, and it's just, uh, it's going to be special. It's going to be special for all of our students. So thank you again for being part of this journey and let's continue to walk together, walk home. Thank you. The day is a little less windy than last time we were here. Like the <laughs> building is actually sitting here blocking the wind. Um, I want to start by saying thank you so much all the way back to 2016 had voters and community members and educators in our district that really believed that we should be doing more for our kids. We should be college and career preparing them. And this building is really a sentiment that really talks about what we can do for kids. I joke, but this is really only phase one. So you guys are going to be that inaugural first class that's going to come in, but you're going to tell us what we should have done differently so we can do it better in phase two, phase three, and hopefully this whole horizon will be um, filled with buildings of opportunity for our kids. I want to um, give a huge thank you, especially to the cadre. It has been a really, really tough year. There's been a lot of work that's been going on. Our CTE program, all of our teachers that are in that program now, that really we stand on their shoulders as we continue to grow what we can offer to kids. Um, I'm constantly reminded, and I woke up this morning thinking about this as I was thinking about the beam signing today. One of my favorite quotes of all time um, is from Robert Frost, and it's, Two roads diverged in a woods, and I, I took the road less traveled by. And I actually want to say in Cherry Creek School District, we believe our totally own path. And I appreciate that. And for our 55,000 55, students, we appreciate that you took the opportunity to do that. So thank you. Congratulations. We're so excited for you, Mark, and your cadre, and everything that's going to happen. But thank you for all the hard work this morning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>